What's up guys, it's CSO here. Today we're going to be checking out a place called Frossel. It's quite a unique cave actually and it's got a very strange easter egg in that I want to show you guys. There's also a few unique objects in there. Anyway, to find Frossel for yourself, it's actually quite close to the Scow village. Just north of it, you can't miss it, it's on an island, I'll show you it in a second. Um, it's also close to this pirate camp which you can actually, there's um, a pirate captain here and if you go there for yourself you'll be able to kill him and he's usually in full Nordic armour so that's worth doing. So here we are, this is the cave entrance but before we go in I want to do a little bit of exploring. So I'm just going to grab this nin root so it stops making that annoying noise. Then we're going to head down the beach here and it looks like some reavers have made a campsite and they've shipped their boat just here, but all the reavers are dead. And there's a Reichling spear in the reaver, so I'm guessing this is a Reichling cave. It only makes sense, right? That's why all the objects that have been like sort of washed ashore have been taken towards that cave over there. There's also a gold ore vein here that you guys can mine. And we're probably going to find a few more of those in the cave, so it might be worth bringing a pickaxe if you want to mine some gold. So, inside we go. Pretty awesome cave, right? I do like ice caves if I don't say so myself. So, we're going to find quite a lot of random objects in here because it's a rifling cave. And if you remember me talking about it in my last video when I spoke a little bit about Reichling lore, then um, you would remember that I mentioned that they liked hoarding objects. Just any sort of clutter that you have around, they'll steal it and then take it into their caves where, where they live. So we're just gonna take out these guys. And there's one more over there. I actually uh, released my top 10 best bow video a while ago, um, last week I think, if my memory serves me correctly for when this one will be coming out. And um, I spoke about obviously the top 10 best bows in Skyrim, and I did mention the dragon bow as being the worst bow on the list, but obviously I'm still using it because it's still a very good bow. As you, If any of you have watched my archery build then you'll already know that. But anyway, um, we're going to search this location. If you look in all these Reichling huts, it's definitely worth doing because you'll find ingots, lots of gold, and some other bits and bobs that are generally useful. Also, which is worth mentioning, you'll find a lot of brooms in this cave. Now, brooms, if you've, I'll, I'll leave a link to my other video guide in the description, but you can actually um, make staffs out of them with using, you can actually do this in the original Skyrim game as well, so for those of you who don't have the DLC, um, it's worth checking that video out. But you can make um, staffs to summon Atronox, there's a, a strong box here as well which you can grab. You can make staffs to summon Flame, Frost and Storm Atronoxes, and that's pretty good because if you have staffs that can do that, that then you won't need um, you know, the ability to summon it. In other words, you won't need any magicka to use it. Oh my god, there's some Reichlings. Yeah, one, another thing about Reichlings... Oh, what happened there? Another thing about Reichlings, apart from being very blind, they, um, they hide in barrels, which is a bit weird. But there's a chest here, actually, so... Um, Dwarven War Axe of Gleaming. Absorb stamina. Not very useful. What else? I think there should be another chest around... There's a knapsack here. Which usually has some decent potions in, but that one doesn't for me. And there's another... There's an... Oh my god. Another Reichling here. Luckily I've got my um, stealthy boots on, so... He literally can't hear or see me. Because they've got a muffling effect on. Now, there's usually a spell tome here. 
And last time I was here, it was a paralysis effect. This time it's Command De Daedra. So, um, it's usually quite a powerful spell tome, or maybe it's to do with your level. But right now I'm just going to pick this lock. Well, I'm not going to pick this lock. Let's try again. This is an, um, an East Empire Company strongbox. And every strongbox with that name will have an East Empire pendant inside it. And these pendants, if you go back to Raven Rock, there's actually a character, I've forgotten his name off the top of my head, but I'm sure you guys can Google it. Uh, and he will buy those off you for 500 gold. So they're definitely worth grabbing. And there's all, here's another gold ore vein that you guys can mine. So I'm just going to continue on through this cave. There's another Reichling hut there. I'm not going to bother searching it because I don't really need anything else. <laughs> it's so great when they just jump out and all like the clutter goes flying everywhere. Wow, that dodge. I don't know. Did my arrow disappear then or what? There we go. So you, you usually find a few coin purses hanging about as well. So it's worth just having a quick browse around. I mean, I'm not searching this place very thoroughly myself. Um, so here we have the Easter egg. <laughs> it's a little bit weird, I know. So basically, there are, what are there? There's like six Reichlings, no, seven Reichlings worshipping... We're go we'll go and have a look at it, actually. We'll walk around here, and then we'll go and have a proper look at it, because it's bloody weird. I'm not going to lie. Okay, so, if we come around the back here, we can stay in sneak mode, and they won't hear us. Probably wouldn't hear us if we walked right in front of them, to be honest. But, um, I'll show you all the loot in this location in a moment. But, first I want to show you the Easter egg. So, obviously there's a cart, but... There's also like a sculpture of a horse sculpted out of ice. And all the Reichlings are like worshipping it. I'm pretty sure they just put this animation in for this one point, this one Easter egg. Because I I've never seen a Reichling bow like that and it's a little bit weird. So, yeah, that's. I'm not so sure what this Easter egg is about. It's either about them worshipping Clutter, but the fact there's a horse here and it's tied to what is obviously a bit like a sleigh it could be a christmas easter egg but i'm not 100 percent sure did i can't remember now did um the solstein dragonborn downloadable content come out around christmas someone can fill me in if you've got any ideas as to what this easter egg is do let me know but anyway there are loads of reichlings here so we're going to use the slow time shout to get rid of them before they can kill me Before they know I'm here at least. We'll kill as many as possible before they can even react. I'll actually leave a, um, a link to this build in the description for you guys to check out for yourself. If you're a lower level it's worth killing the Reichling Charger first because he's going to deal the most damage. Is anyone else alive? You're alive. You can die and you're still alive. There we go. So, as you can see, that build's pretty overpowered. You can clear a whole room of enemies in just a few shots. Well, not a few seconds, sorry, like in real time. There's loads of Reichling Spears in this cave if you need any. I think there's a, a quest in the game where you're actually required to get some. Anyway, what am I doing? I need to show you a few other unique items now. Okay, so there's gold ore vein there. And in this little alcove just here, you will find a boss chest... Firstly, gold lockpicks. Um, that's not a very good boss chest for me, anyway. Coin purse, and here we go, a Diabella statue. Now, this is basically a unique statue that you can take. And if you remember, um, if you've done the Thieves Guild quest line, early on in the Thieves Guild quest line, um, a guy, I've forgotten his name now, but he'll tell you to go and find these statues. And he says, if you, if you find any more, come and bring them to me, and he'll give you some money for them. So, they're worth taking if you're short on cash. Just go and take them. I th oh, his name's Brynjolf, that's it. So go and take them to Brynjolf in the Thieves' Guild, and he should give you some money for them. 
Um, and Okay, so now we're going to move on. You can see the horse cart there properly. It does look a little bit like a sleigh, doesn't it? It's very weird either way. I'm interested to know if anyone knows the real reason for that Easter egg, because I, I don't, to be honest. It actually brings me on to another topic. I was thinking of doing a top 10 Easter egg video. If anyone would be interested in that, let me know in the comments. Because, I mean, there are so many... There's another gold ore vein here. There are so many Easter eggs in this game, it's nigh and ridiculous. There are some very funny ones and, like, movie references, you know, lots of things, really. What's down there, actually, is that? Something on this oak log. Oh, no, sorry, it's nothing. Just wasted your time. Sorry, guys. So, anyway, we're just going to continue down this pathway, and it should lead us back to one of the entrance rooms. Oh, goat cheese. Everyone loves goat cheese. So there's a war drum. Um, so we just drop down here. We can come out of the cave just here. And there we go, guys. 